Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. I'm the first one that isn't actually for high school class. This one is for anybody and everybody and is centered around 3D printing this lightsaber on a desktop 3D printer. Now, I don't have any CAD files for this lightsaber. I don't have anything like that. We're going to jump into Inventor here in a little bit. And I'm going to bring you along for a ride as we measure, model, print, and construct this right here. Now, this is Darth Vader's lightsaber. Um, basically the generic version. There's a few different versions. You see this one, the black couplers right butted up against that. There's versions like this one. Oh, where'd that one go? Versions like, uh, well, this one, for example, where that's kind of spaced out a little bit. I mean, there's all sorts of different takes on this lightsaber. There's this one. Um, this one's a cool one. It's got really like a beat up look to it. That's a 3D model. Um, but it's it's all very similar, right? It's all the similar shape, uh, similar size even for the most part. And uh, we're going to look at completely modeling one of these in Autodesk Inventor. 3D printing it uh, using Cura Slicer and the Maker Select version 2 3D printer for the desktop. Uh, this is basically just the introduction video. I'm going to go over, again, a little bit of the project like I have now. Um, some of my goals. I'm going to try to put up at least one episode a week about this. I've got the end of the other series running right now. Uh, the Computer Programming 1 Pi Game Final Project series. That's just ran into some snags with uh, code getting corrupted. But as soon as that one's done, there will be a series taking its place that's a much longer playthrough, uh, or not, not a playthrough, but a much longer run-through of Python and Pi Game that goes much more in-depth and is designed to teach a lot more. But for now, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. So I'm going to try to put up one of these a week, one of the three printed lightsabers a week, and one of the computer programming videos a week. Now... I hope you don't mind, but this first video is going to be a little bit of R&D, and we're going to take a look into the Saber and some different things that we might be doing to create the Saber. So the very basic design is really super simple, it looks like. If I just pull up paint here, and I was just making a thumbnail, and create a new blank document, we come in here. Really what we are looking at is... I don't know why I'm drawing an orange, that's weird. A, uh, well, our, our main piece of this lightsaber is the grip, which is made up of a piece of metal, which is here. This piece of metal kind of behind, from the end of this coupler right here, back to the end here. And just before the end of it, there's like these lines that start some maybe threading here. And then what appears to be a threaded cap, or maybe just a ridged cap, coming over the edge of it like this. And again, that's all coming from here, right? That's kind of a ridged cap. And it might be a little bit longer than I've drawn it here. This isn't supposed to be accurate or super detailed. Now, on top of that, we've got all of these pieces that start about here and come up and come out, right? So there's like a ton of them on here. I'm just going to draw some of them in right now. Like one there, maybe we'll do another one here. And the last one over here. So there's more than that, but that's what's on there. And these are all filled in black. I'll just draw lines through them for that right now, because I'm doing this all with a mouse, and I hate drawing with a mouse. But anyways, that's all filled in black. So I come back over to the lightsaber. We've now got kind of our centerpiece, which is on all of these lightsabers. It's a little coupler that goes on them. You can see it on all of his lightsabers. And it's basically, it's it's a pretty simple one. Um, it extends from here just a little bit, and we get our nice black coupler. Now this coupler isn't that big, and on one end of it, it's got a little LCD display. Or not LCD, but LED display. And oh, I realized just now that my uh, grid looks really weird on the recording. Sorry about that. Um, so we've got our little coupler in there, 
and then coming back down to a picture that might be a little easier to work off of, something like oh, no, something like this maybe. We see that the front after that coupling is mostly just metal coming forward until we reach the very, very front of the blade. So we'll bring forward the same kind of metal tube that's underneath. And now we got to kind of start looking at the overall length of the lightsaber. Um, maybe about this far. And that metal tube is actually broken up from the side. You're going to see it more like this. In the back, it comes down just a touch further because it also comes up further in the back than it does in the front. In the front, it comes up, and then you get kind of your beginning of your... Uh, I don't know what you would call this. It's got a fillet here and a fillet right here. And we've kind of got like the blade emitter sticking out right there. And that's really the basic of this blade. Um, jumping back over here, you know, that's basically exactly what we've got going on here. There's a little bit of detail on this back piece that I missed, and it looks like it just kind of... Uh, maybe even... Well, I mean, I've got a little bit there, but it looks like it might come out a little bit here as well. You know, something pretty similar to that. And maybe in ours we'll put, um, after we're done, a screw right here and an actual, like, belt loop hook or some sort of hook that we can put on. But that'll come in time. So we've got another black piece with all of this right here. This is all black. Do, 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 do. And all of this in here is black. Do, 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 do. And this is probably going to be silver and it'll match all the rest of it. So really, to 3D print our lightsaber, we're probably going to cut it at the bottom of this to here and print just that um, metal piece for that. And then we'll print all of these pieces separate. This piece will be printed on its own. This coupler will probably be printed as one piece. It'll be uh, probably mostly, either mostly hollow or it'll have just a little tiny recess for the edge of this to slip in so that this piece and this piece are kept in line with each other. Um, other than that, this can be printed in one piece. We'll cut from here to here and print this whole thing in one piece. And then this one might be a little bit more difficult, but with some infill material from here to here, we should more than easily be able to print this all in one piece. And then maybe we'll build a little insert right here that's got um, maybe some color on the inside of it. Or 3D print some color on the inside of it so that this is like a little blade plug. But in total, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven prints. So uh, we've kind of got an idea of where we're going with this, this little sketch here. This is just, this is just our idea for right now. That's a really bad light bulb, but you know what, I tried my best. This is our idea. That's all it's. Oh, that's all it is supposed to be. Bam! I can, I can actually circle things now. So, I hope uh, this interests some of you guys. I think it's an interesting concept to 3D print the lightsaber chassis, and uh, if we get enough popular support for this, and uh, I can find a way to make a little bit of extra money here and there outside of the job I'm already working, if I have some spare money. I might, look in, I might look into doing a second version of this that's not 3D printed, that we actually put some electronics on the inside of, as well as putting some uh, an actual blade inside. But until then, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this one here. In the next episode, we will be jumping into actually breaking these down in Inventor, printing them, and then I've got to figure out how to uh, record something that's not on my computer monitor. But until then, well, we'll see you all in the next episode.